Okay, review of membrane structure and transport across the membrane. Very briefly, uh, going over membrane structure, the two most important molecules are the phospholipids, okay, and those are these sort of orange molecules here, and um, all of the different proteins, okay, and the proteins form all, uh, do all kinds of different functions. Um, some of the proteins just kind of sit on top of the membrane, uh, like this guy here. Uh, other ones go through the membrane, such as uh, the pore protein there, the transport protein. Uh, most of the proteins are able to sort of move around the membrane fairly rapidly and change position, though some like this one here, are anchored in place by the cytoskeleton. Uh, important things to remember here, uh, especially with the phospholipids, uh, are the fact that there are the two different properties of the phospholipids. The head part, the little ball, uh, that is hydrophilic, so it uh, is able to interact with the extracellular fluid outside the cell and the cytoplasm inside the cell, both of which are aqueous environments. And the fact that the tails, this middle part here, are uh, very hydrophobic, so they like to be away from all the water, so they kind of sandwich themselves in between. Okay, so moving on to transporting materials across the membrane. Okay, there are two basic types of transport that uh, move things across the membrane. First, we are going to go over passive transport. Okay, a few things about passive transport. Uh, all of these forms of transport, um, you know, as they are called passive, there is no energy requirement. Okay, the cells can just do this without exerting any type of effort. Really, um, and the other thing is the direction. The uh, they always move down the concentration gradient, so they always move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Okay, and there's a few different types. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is just simple diffusion. Okay, and this works well for, as it says here, lipid soluble molecules, also very small molecules. And these molecules, such as uh, dissolved gases, um, certain vitamins, things like that, are able to actually fit right in between the phospholipids of the membrane and can move into or out of the cell that way. Uh, the next type of diffusion uh, passive transport is facilitated diffusion. And here, there's two types of facilitated diffusion, uh, depending on whether it, the protein that is helping it is a channel protein, where the protein just forms a pore, a little channel, for the molecules to move through. Or if it is a carrier protein, where the protein undergoes a little bit of a shape change. Okay, and you can see that happening, uh, the pictures on the bottom here. As the molecule comes in and binds, the protein then kind of flips open and the molecule is delivered uh, to the other side of the membrane. And all of these things work in both directions, either inside or out of the cell. It really just depends on the concentration gradient. Okay, high, all, it always moves high to low concentration. The other type, major type of transport in the cell is called active transport. And as the name implies, this involves the use of energy. Energy in the form of ATP molecules. Okay, there's the ATP. And at the end, it is uh, the energy is used up and it's converted to the low energy ADP form. Uh, the other major difference in 
uh, from this to passive transport is the direction. This uh, pumps material from an area of low concentration out to an area of high concentration. So this is going against the concentration gradient, kind of like pushing something up a hill. That's why the cell needs to expend energy to do this. Um, active transport always uh, involves these proton, uh, protein pumps. Okay, in this case, uh, we are pumping calcium out of the cell. So calcium binds here to the transport protein. Uh, ATP comes in and binds as the ATP or as the protein changes shape and the calcium is pumped out, the ATP uh, is converted to ADP and that releases the energy. Um, also make sure that you look at the bulk forms of transport, the um, endocytosis and exocytosis. Okay, those are just uh, ways that the cell moves large volumes of material in or out.